as you said, today we are playing Let's Go Wizard! And, um, 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 here in the we got like, she looks for a little bit. So, um, did you finish with her? <laughs> I don't even know what to how much coffee did you have this morning? <laughs> hey, you keep going out of, you keep going out of frame. Should we, every time you go like this, you go out of frame. Okay, so as she emphatically describes, we're playing, we're playing a game called Little Wizards. We do have character sheets to fill out, so... We're going to have to do that first. We have to make our characters. So in this kind of game, if, if, uh, if you've never done a, a Dungeons & Dragons type <laughs> style thing, you have to, yeah, which Kay has never done before. Um, and I've been told, this was recommended to me, I've been told that this is a good starting game for, for children who have never done this type of game before. And on the back it says... <laughs> Oh, you want to... Kids are magic. Kids are magic. The kids in our lives all dream of visiting other worlds, of being heroes in their own special tales. Here's their chance. Little Wizards is a storytelling role-playing game for inventive and inquisitive kids of ages 6 to 10. So first, we've got where it says player. That's where you write your name. What about name? That's where you write your character's name. Oh, I'm not going to use the book to write on. You can draw a picture right here is where you draw a picture of your character. Okay. I'm super good at faces, but I'm not good at bodies. Well, just draw a face of your character. Okay. What is A Little Wizard's Tale? Little Wizards is a game of cooperative storytelling around a table. Or a fireplace during winter, or why not? around a pool during the summer. It's a game, or why not around a computer screen if you're a YouTuber? Ha! We're just sitting around a computer screen. Um, I'm gonna... with, with the sunlight being our only light because we're dumb and we didn't put, turn the, the lights on. I hope that's better lighting for everybody. It's a game without winners and more importantly, without losers. Yay! You and your friends work together to okay. create characters in an imaginary world and tell awesome stories about them. Everyone wins and when the stories are fun. In Little Wizards you imagine a character um, with her qualities and flaws. What? I want my character to be named Sophie. That's a pretty picture. Let me see. You can see on the computer screen. We need to imagine it do it with Imagination. <laughs> um, why are you throwing index cards? I did it. Okay. You did. All right. It's here's magic power. Here's coin world. You want to take a look? Okay. You want it? This is coin world. Coin world. That's the magical land we're going to. Imagine you go for a walk and through. The infinite universe, following the trail of the stars. You see a great number of planets along the way, of all sizes and colors. Some have rings, others hide beneath, beneath a thick gas veil. All of them reveal their beauty, beautiful roundness to the rays of neighboring suns. <laughs> Sun. Well, not all of them. Sure. You keep walking past a large moon with a blue gleam and if you take the time are you bored with this what no okay <laughs> oh there's two so you can go to this one or you can go to this one you flip a coin to see which world you're gonna play in heads heads we're gonna be at the heads see head Okay, so basically, this the world. The world is is a coin. It's not. It's not round like a normal planet. It's, it's just flat. It's, like it's, it's flat. Clean. So you flipped the world, and we landed on heads. I like the tail. You like tails better. 
there's, there's a cup that's on that side and there's a cup on this side. See? Yeah, because it's so just mirrored. Let's look at how we make our characters. So. Can we flip the coin again? Do you want to just play on Tails? Yeah. You can, we can play on Tails. Um. I'm just going to play with Hey, well, Lottie, duh. Okay. Tails. Okay. Spin it to Tails. Okay, so we have to decide what kind of person we're going to be. Okay. So, see all the islands there? There's Storms, Bones, Shivers, Screams, and Wards. So Bones is a vest, ye sailors and scallywags. Storms is... And the people of Storms pride themselves in their strength and toughness. Shivers is... isn't a place for easily startled. Home to a very wide array of people, ordinary humans, what? but also werewolves, vampires, and zombies, and even more exotic, I would be a werewolf. exotic frightening creatures. I would want to be a werewolf. So, okay, we like shivers. Screams is um, named for the howling winds that blows endlessly through the canyons and the main island in its in its interior, of which is complete mystery. No explorer has ventured in and returned to tell the tale. And words is the southern, um, it's southern to tales, which is populated mostly by unfriendly and dangerous monsters like goblins, trolls, ogres, and sometimes even malicious magical creatures. Um, and there's a whole bunch more description to them, but I'm just reading like the first sentence to give you a sense. No one who lives here thinks, thinks that it's odd at all that there are vampires and zombies and all that. Um, creatures like these are accepted as a normal part of Shiver's society. In fact, the highest and most respective Ooh, what's art that form... instrument? It looks like a flute. A flute horn. Mm -hmm. A the flute highest... slash trumpet. So the highest form of art is Ow. telling scary stories. Maybe it's because everyone is so used to seeing very scary people every day. It's kind of like Monster High. What? Mm -hmm. There's a game called Monster High? No, I'm saying Shivers is kind of like Monster High, where all the monsters are just normal people. One of the things wizards most often do on Shivers is deal with visitors who panic at the sight of a werewolf or vampire, and with the very best intentions trying to protect the ordinary folk who live here. Okay, so at the top, where it says home, we're going to write Shivers. Here's your character sheet. We get to figure out if we're going to be a little sorcerer or a little mage. A little sorcerer was born um, as a, somebody who knew magic, and a little mage is somebody who is who is learning magic. Were you born magical, or born magical, or are you learning magic? Born. I think I'd rather be a little mage. Somebody who was born without magic and is learning that. So we need to come up with our appearance. So that's uh, that's on the list right here. We're describing ourselves. So for our appearance, oh, this is me. That's you. So um, so for our appearance, for our appearance, we can um, we can roll a dice. Um, to come up with what we look like, or we can just, you can just write what you look like. Do you want to pick, like, just write what you look like, or do you want to roll a dice? So, my first one, six. Oh, no! Oh, no, I didn't want six. That was the one that I didn't want. It says whiskers, like a cat or a dog or a walrus. I didn't want whiskers. I wanted freckles. I'm just in the dice. <laughs> three. What's three? Three is an exceptionally pointy nose. No. Wolf. Wolf. Do you want the whiskers? Yes. Okay, you, you take the whiskers. I'm just going to write freckles. I wanted freckles. I got eyes that are narrow, perhaps like a cat. 
I have I have narrow eyes. No! I don't want hair that's styled in a mohawk. I'll try again. I know. Hair that isn't there, you're bald. No! No! Two. Hair that is wild and unruly. Okay. Here that is. What's one. one? Changes color every day or maybe at your whim. What's swimming? Like just whatever you want. You choose your hair color. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hair that changes on your whim. I'm you would like that. To be Speaking of which, we need to re dye your hair. No! It's fading! It's not! It is! See? Oh, it's not fading! Next character. A body that is unusually. You got three? Yeah. Graceful. You're graceful. Oh, yeah! yeah. Okay. I have a body that is tall. I'm tall? You got bad ones I'm, so far. I'm unusually tall. Okay, well, baby, I was born that way. I just realized I'm tall with crazy hair. I'm a freckled Hagrid. Anyway, that's, that's me. I want to celebrate and live my life. Saying hey yo, I'm a wizard. Alright, this is Okay, we're back. This is my person. I've and named her Andrea the Giant. Hey. Cause she's so tall. She's like she's like she's just she's and just popping off the 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 Here's me. That's Sophie. Yeah, Sophie. The uh the whiskered wolf. The whiskered cat. A cat. She has wolf ears, though. Right? Just so you know, this is actually a wolf. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually a wolf. I'm okay. a wolf lizard! Okay, signature features. Um, something that really stands out about you. Oh, there's a whole bunch. You can roll both die for this one. Okay. Both die. Okay. Okay, what's special about you, about your appearance? Six and Seven. one. Seven. Squeaky shoes. What do they look like? What do they? What Sorry. does the squeak sound like? Oh, that's okay. You just write it down in in appearance. So no, 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 no. Well, this is something special, but I can write it down for you. Just tell me, tell me, what I are your squeaky shoes like? Are they like Cinderella ball gown shoes? Maybe you I have Cinderella shoes. I don't know what you want. A different squeaky one. Squeaky shoes. You have to roll both of them. You got seven again. You got seven again. You have squeaky shoes. Well, oh, you can't throw the dice like that. Do you want to pick? Plus four, plus four. Oh, you could have a tail. A tail? Yeah, four plus four is a stylish cape. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, or you could have a tail. Both. You have a tail? Like a wolf tail and a stylish cape? Yeah. Actually, I'm just going to have a regular cape. A regular cape and a... Okay. What do I get? I'm just going to go with whatever I get. I got a seven. Somebody must have the squeaky shoes. Might as well be me. Okay. Um, that is going to make this mission really hard. Yeah. Because no matter what, what we do... You know what? I don't care. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna have squeaky boots. And they're gonna be like, have you seen that episode of Spongebob? With the squeaky boots? Yeah. Yeah. I have squeaky boots. I paid like two dollars for these boots and I won't go anywhere without them. Because somebody told me that they were Spongebob the world's Spongebob greatest fry cook. <laughs> somebody told me they were super valuable. And so, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Two plus one, three. Generous. You're happy to share what you have with your friends and strangers. Yes. Can you write that down? Yeah, I'll write down for you. Eight. Imaginative. Awesome. Two. Two. You're grumpy. No, I don't want to speak. Do you want to just pick one? Yes. 
Grumpy, shy, cheerful, cautious, daring, curious. Shy. Don't be shy? Yeah. They're sil silly. Here. I think you'd be silly or shy. talkative. Shy. Shy. Okay. I'm shy. What's this one? Did this I is I the worst flaw. Yeah, you did that one. Can I do this one? Oh, two. Yes, you did that one. That one. This is when you were shy. This one was when you were clumsy. I'm lazy. You are lazy. Yeah. Okay. In real life, guys, she's lazy. Ken? I guess you enjoy fun. fishing. Yes. Because I'm a cat or a wolf. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so you like that candy makes... and fishing. So I like food and eating in general. Okay, what motivates you? Or you can make up your own thing. Seven was the discovery of this major animal. Becoming Coin World's fastest broom racer. Healing animals or people or maybe starting a magical hospital. Making your family Six proud. And four. Ten. Uh, healing animals and people. Yes. Write it down. Okay. Healing animals or people. Hey, so do you want to heal everybody or do you want to start a magical hospital? Heal everybody. My motivation is... Four. Visiting every place in Coin World on both sides. We're gonna do this other column she that we didn't fill her. out. We'll do that in um, the next episode. Well, I think this we'll is do gonna it. be a series. Yeah, Just I think we're that. gonna do this, and then we'll we'll do our wizard we'll gear. We'll do that in the um, next episode. No, we'll do it in between, so that so, yeah, and then we'll come we'll back. We'll do some in between, some seven on the video. Well, we'll do this but, in between, and then that way we can just start the story in the next video. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. So the next video will just be the story. Because we've been sitting here creating the character for like... A long time. Like an hour and a half. Something like that. An hour. Okay. Of just creating um, characters. That's how long these games so, are. So you really have to be dedicated if you want to play these kind of adventure so, games. But they're fun. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed like that leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this you can leave suggestions and I'll see for you us in too the next episode. um if you if can you I think the intro? Um, oh my god you're doing an outro i didn't even notice you were doing an outro stop it i was talking to you click over kidding? there to subscribe up wait do you did face. you know did you oh i'm just supposed to put it on my <laughs> face on my face now? I, I'm not even... Look at the channel right here. It's a subscribe down Maybe it'll here. be on her face. Maybe... <laughs> it'll be on my chest. Right there? Chest. On your tummy? Right here. Right and here. Your tummy's not even on the screen. <laughs> Stand up. Put your tummy on the screen. There. It's going to be right here. Meow chica meow meow. Here's... No, it here's no. <laughs> Okay. No, this, it'll be... There'll be a video. Subscribe. The, what videos here's should we do? Subscribe. Yeah. On your nose? <laughs> no, I like Maybe right it will. Here. Maybe it'll be it'll be on your nose or my nose. Did you actually eat a spicy popcorn? No. I thought you did. Well, I chose it for you because you got all the pops at the end.